Hello, I'm John from Motorcycle Monthly. I'm going to be testing a pair of batteries. Standard lead acid against the new Shorei Lithium. Now I'm going to be using my CBR600 for this, but the battery in that wasn't brand new. So I'm taking the battery out of this 2014 Z1000SX. Now then that battery is a slightly larger capacity than what would be standard in the CBR. But the replacement battery that Shorei recommend for both the standard CBR and the Z1000 is this one. So we're going to make it work a bit harder. Both of them are being charged, the Shorei on its own charger and the lead acid on an Optimate. When they're fully charged I'm going to disconnect the fuel from the CBR and from there I'm going to run them at 10 second bursts see which one that lasts the longest. Okay, I've got the batteries fresh off the chargers, both brand new batteries. We'll try the lead acid first. I've taken all the fuel out of the system and I've disconnected the ignition. So we'll run a 10 second burst on the starter motor, then leave it to cool for 10 to 20 seconds, and then run 10 seconds again until it runs out. See what happens. Hi, when I started filming this video, I didn't expect either battery to go so long. Both batteries did 24 turns of the starter motor, running 10 second bursts with 10 seconds between each burst to give my starter motor a chance of surviving. Now, the um, Shorei held its charge higher towards the end. As you turned it over, you could, you could hear more punch and it was spinning faster than towards the end of the 10 seconds when we're getting towards 20, 21 turns. You could hear that it was dropping power. Now, if the battery was at a low charge but your bike tended to start normally, the Shorei should have a better chance of getting that bike turned over. The lead acid battery was doing very well, and bear in mind the lead acid that I used is actually a larger capacity one from the Z1000. But if you're replacing the Z1000 battery, Shorei would still recommend the battery I've used. So the lead acid did well, the Shorei did well. The Shorei has the advantage obviously that it would um, hold a charge longer. If you're not using the bike much, it'll keep going. Now if you want to watch all of this, it's about 12 minutes long. You've got 6 minutes of each battery running. I've left it all in here so that you can hear how they slow down, how the batteries perform throughout. You can hear the Shorei turns the bike a lot faster, you should get a much more positive turnover. Watch it by all means, but don't go moaning to me about this being a boring video. Let's see what you think. Right, I've got an Optimate battery tester connected, so we can just see what the charge is doing. Let's give it a start. Give it 10 seconds to cool off.
Okay, that's the lead acid flat. Let's give the uh, chai lithium ion a try. Okay, stopwatch, battery test is on. See what happens.